In this video, we're going to take a look at the structure of our starter scenario template and how to make a few edits to the file. This is a multi-slide template. On slide one, we've included a two option scenario. The user is presented with scenario content above the two options to select from. When they press one of these options, a feedback group opens and its state changes based on the user's selection. To edit content in the main scenario, select the text caption and adjust as desired. Colors and styles can be edited using any of the formatting tools in the style pane. Make sure to double check states when editing. Speaking of states, to edit the feedback content, you'll need to enable the FB group element in the timeline, then select the content box. You'll need to use state view to see the incorrect feedback. Slide two presents a three option scenario. Functionality and editability are the same as the previous slide. Slide three is a very straightforward conclusion slide. Edit the text box or elements on screen as desired using built-in formatting options. There are no direct linkages between slides in this file. If you'd like to remove one or another of the scenarios, just delete what you don't want and you're good to go.